Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here with me this morning on this fine, wonderful, dreary day. <laughs> it is kind of dreary outside. Anyways, I figured I would join you today and we could have a conversation. Well, you know, I, I would have the conversation, of course, and you all would listen. But the most important thing is I'm showing up. <laughs> no, anyways, guys, a bunch of crap has been going on. A bunch of stuff goes on all the time. I mean, hey, that's the story of my life. That's the story of your life, right? There's always something going on. <laughs> Yeah, so life has been kind of crazy, but so here's what I want to do today. We're going to make this video like a hodgepodge of some different things. Since I have been absent for a while, um, I'm tired. Look up, but my eyes are swollen, guys. I need an eye lift. How about that? Okay, so here's what we're going to do today. No. Let's do it this way. Today, we're going to have a hodgepodge of different things, okay? And today, <laughs> that's my brain. I don't know. That's my brain. My brain, my grandchildren say that my brain just goes from one thing to the other. I just say what pops in. And that is true. That's without a filter. I have no filter. It's just boop. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> um, really though, um, I wanted to hang out with you guys. I wanted to talk to you guys about some stuff. Um, I haven't seen you in a while. We're going to do a hodgepodge of things. We're going to talk about some things that people have sent me, some questions that subscribers have asked me lately, and I haven't been able to come on. Uh, and we will also cover that burn on my face. I may or may not have dropped a cherry from a joint. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> we're going to talk. What about the news? The crazy news, dude. What do you guys think about the aliens? What about the aliens? Are they real? Is the government messing with us? Are they gaslighting us? Are they trying to make us believe something that they swore was not real? You know, tinfoil hat kind of stuff. Hey, I got, I can make a tinfoil hat. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. All right. So whenever we are talking about subjects that are conspiratorial, <laughs> conspirator, you know what I mean, conspiracies, people, you know, um, you conspiracy theorists. <laughs> Here's my tinfoil hat, guys, right here. I wanted antennas, you know, so I can get better reception. <laughs> uh, silver side out to deflect them, right? <clears throat> so, are aliens real? Do you believe in little blue men? Do you think little blue men are going to jump out of a spaceship and come and get you? <laughs> Because I don't exactly believe it's like that. I don't exactly believe it's like they're trying to push it. That's why people that are in the field of researching it, like I've researched it for a few years now, and I'm not a professional like some of these lifers, but for some, some few years, like four or five years now, I've been researching this topic and all these other topics, esoteric, and guess what? It's in the Bible that we have other species and stuff um, from, I don't know, what you guys consider other planets. Um, consider the planet a realm or like, I'm, that's how I see it. Like, if you, there's a guy, Darius Wright, we'll go look him up. This is a hodgepodge video. <laughs> we'll go look up Darius Wright. He explains it well. 
when I was in my out of body experience, when I jumped out of the body, I, everything was like, <laughs> it was like, there was no corners. There was no edges. Um, everything was like circular, but I was in my realm. And so my realm had its own circular, like from the outside, outside, it's a bunch of <clears throat> realms levels cycles like the bible says that the scrolls of heaven were the scrolls of hell like i i just look at things a lot differently anyway so we'll go look up darius Wright. <laughs> but um in fact we might look him up later on in like another video um what i wanted to talk about today was some of the alien stuff that uh they're talking about in the news and the things that they're trying to make us believe. Okay. Got to give it time to catch up because, you know. <laughs> okay, now. So, let's check out some UFO stuff. I found this article. I'm not going to share all of it or read all of it. Just the data point. Okay, so right here, <clears throat> what we are seeing now post 2017, when New York Times come out with their now famous article about how the Pentagon has been investigating UFOs, they're taking it seriously. We now live in the age where UFO is becoming more widely accepted, said Sparaj in a video call interview with Decider. But with what comes, but with that comes the burden of proof. And I think we're getting that in a lot of these more modern day documentaries. Now, I agree, okay, because we have been talking about UFOs for a long time. I, I, I have a UFO experience. <laughs> My friends, a lot of my friends have had UFO experiences, but then I have a group of friends that are just now dwelling, delving into this, right? So I have family members that have been open-minded about other life because it's an arrogant and just an arrogant <laughs> way to look at life like I'm the only game in town we're the only game in town mm, i don't buy that nor do i buy the way that our uh galaxy is set up the way they say it is i just don't buy any of it i don't buy the um the globe thing i don't i think it's layers levels <laughs> So it's a, there's a bunch of different stuff. Well, all that is different videos, but yeah. So I think they've done good uh, programming us. So the involvement of let's see Spielberg, Steven Spielberg, do to do when someone like Spielberg, who is known to be like the ET guy, that close encounters guy puts his name behind something and covers the case with respect. I personally think it deserves. I think <clears throat> that's really sending a message to the public that there's something to this, says Frosch. Not only are UFOs real now, according to the U.S. government, but possibly we've made contact with something. I'm not saying they're men from Mars or little gray aliens, but there's something out there that we cannot explain that people are claiming to have seen. Yes, there is something out there, and I have seen stuff. I have seen a lot of stuff I can't explain. Of course, talking to people that have passed on is something I can't explain, and that now happens to me. 
So, uh, and what's interesting is the veil is thin, guys. The veil is thin, so it's happening to not just me; it's happening to other people. So yeah, I've studied this stuff my whole life. The paranormal part I have my whole life, but some of the experiences I've been having are not experiences I've had my whole life. Just the past ten years. <laughs> I guess that's long enough. They call you, what, an expert after 10? <laughs> I'm no expert. Not when it comes to paranormal and psychic stuff because it's an ever-changing field. You're always learning. If, you, if this is something you've decided to learn about, anything tarot, anything psychic, you're learning forever. It's not a, uh, I'll check it out for a couple weeks thing. That's not how it works. So... I got to get out of this, guys. Let me, uh, let me think. <laughs> so, there's part of our hodgepodge video. Like, it's going to go crazy. It's going to be stupid. I got a lot of kids on the internet, and it's kind of rainy outside, so my connection ain't great. <laughs> so what else is going on in the news what else are they talking about there was something else that was going on that i've been oh i know we'll talk about it all right so the other part of my video this is something I found on the news, guys. Now, I don't like to watch the news. The news is depressing. The news is programming. You get programmed the most on that little black magical box by CNN more than anything in this world, I swear. And, I mean, I watched it. I'm, I'm, I'll watch my parents be completely programmed during an election year because my mom watches that TV 24-7. So it, it is what it is. Now, however, that being said, sometimes I catch crap. And one of the things I said four years ago when Derek gave me all the predictions that have come true, this was one that stores would be closing, okay? And when I was watching the... Um, mm, mm, B M M riots. <laughs> I mean, you know, protests. <laughs> you know, fires everywhere, shit destroyed everywhere. When I was watching that unfold, I was thinking because they're minimizing the severity of this while we're watching people walk out of stores that are burning down with washers on their back and no one's doing anything about it they're going to write some laws that shoplifting a certain amount is going to be okay and they did and now you can't stop certain amounts from walking out the door you just can't and so these people are doing it and getting away with it, but it's causing these stores to shut down. And that's what people don't realize. That's what these shoplifters don't realize. That's what happens. So everyone is going to pay now for those mistakes. Okay. A, I'm not innocent. I've done stuff in my past, especially when I was on drugs that I'm not proud of, but I've not done it since. And I know better. And I never stole from people. I know that's no excuse. But I've, I have learned this years and years and years, uh, a couple decades ago, that this is what happens to the economy when you go in and you steal from Walmart all the time. You end up getting that Walmart store shut down. <clears throat> New York targeting is closing nine locations in major cities across four states claiming theft and organized retail crime. 
have made the environment unsafe for staff and customers and unsustainable for businesses. However, on the flip side of what I said and what this article is saying, I don't always believe the news. How much during uh, COVID, how many times did anybody that lived in the local areas that they were saying was bombarded with a bunch of people? How many times did we see locals in that area showing us a different story? How many times? I seen it. It was all over TikTok. TikTok's one thing I love about TikTok is they won't. They won't you know what's it called suppress it they won't suppress it the information flows freely there a lot of times sometimes it's too much but hey that's the price you pay we're not infants we're old enough to make our own decisions we shouldn't be choosing for other people what they should or should not hear because we think they can't handle it. it's not our job to decide for people other people what they do or say with their body COVID tried to, oh my God, it tried to train a lot of people to take over other people's lives. Sure did. So here we are, backlash of all that crap and more. <laughs> but is it real? Is it real? I want to know. I want to know about people in these areas if it's really happening. We should go check on videos. And see if it's real. I mean, I even said something about fires. We're going to end up with a big fire this year. A lot of, I thought it was going to happen in the States. And it did. But it happened in Hawaii. We cannot continue operating these stores because of theft. And organized retail crime are threatening the safety of our team and guests. And contributing to unsustainable business performance. Target, Target said in the statement. We know that our stores serve an important role in their communities, but we can only be successful if the working and shopping environment is safe for all. Now, we're going to fast forward a few months, and these retail stores are closing down. We're going into winter months, and then they sit there and they do another lockdown restriction. More people lose their jobs. More people end up homeless. And then there's going to be what? This is just a prediction. But there would end up being what? We're going to go with a huge backlash, right? And then you're going to end up with where are you going to store these people? Where are you going to put these people? Well, look, that empty target can easily be converted into da, 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 a FEMA camp. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, anyways, I told you this was going to be one of those episodes, okay? Uh, I was just, I was just telling you, I was just telling you. So, on our next video, we'll talk about how to cleanse your crystals. Yes, that is going to be the next video, <laughs> for real, um, all jokes aside. So, uh, anyways, guys, that was just a couple things I wanted to go into and, you know, kind of like vent about. Um, I don't have any information on what's going on locally right now. Beth does. Beth Riss does. She knows all the local stuff. Check her out. Um, but I can say that uh, there's a few things I'd like to talk about with that later on. So, everybody yeah anyways have a good day be the reason someone believes in good people and i will see you on the next video